Here, the federal government says it will carry out an inquiry into allegations that children adopted from India may have been stolen from their birth families. But the opposition says it shouldn't stop overseas adoptions from happening in future. One woman who's felt the impact of illegal overseas adoption practices says it's devastating for all involved. It's every parent's worst fear when they adopt a child from overseas, discovering the newest member of their family was in fact unlawfully given to them. But that's exactly what happened to Julia Rowlings when she found out two of her six adopted children were in fact snatched from their Indian mother. It was a very painful experience for us and for the children. Um, it really turned their world upside down. Julia took her children to meet their birth mother and has written a book on the experience. But now human rights lawyer Dee Geeta believes there are as many as 30 other similar cases. Right now the children are growing up in an adopted family. And that family should be informed about the fact that these children are brought in an illegal method. One child is thought to be living in Queensland. And we should get to the bottom of it and find out what went wrong. Under no circumstances should we move away as Australians from our ability to be able to adopt children from overseas. The Attorney General Robert McClelland has issued a statement saying his department will liaise with the relevant Indian authorities and Australian Federal Police before acting upon any findings of an inquiry. The South Australian opposition welcomes an investigation after a similar case in that state two years ago. The disclosure now that other states have failed to properly protect uh, the uh, importation of potentially stolen and trafficked children is alarming. But the federal opposition says handing over all responsibilities for adoption to the Commonwealth in future wouldn't be the answer. There will be a very, very difficult and very painful uh, process that will need to be followed through to determine whether those children will remain with the families in Australia. Brendan Nelson believes any children found to be stolen from their rightful families should be returned, an unlikely scenario under Australian law. Marion Ives, World News Australia.